And we're back now with um, looking at the enemy movements on the morning of 17th of December 1944. We have moved all our units and we are now going to uh, take a look at the enemy movements and their actions simply. There is nothing for us else to do. We are uh, done with everything. So I think without further ado, let's go for it and uh, let's Let's hit this button. What's in here? Let's go. So most important thing or the most interesting things are going to be, I think, around 2nd Panzer um, Division. Um, maybe also around Le Lear. Uh, also, I think the 12th and 1st SS are going to be interesting to see. Uh, like Elsenborn Ridge, if they are actually be, being able to gather more units around there. It's also going to be interesting to see what's happening up further up in the north when we have retreated. Are they going to pursue or what's going to happen? And also if we get any general attacks. We shouldn't have any um, allied Air strikes anyway, so that's nice because we got miss, mi uh, missed outside. All right, let's see. <clears throat> I'll try and follow this one as as uh, much as we can can do. Okay, where are we at? That's Elsenborn moving away. Trasvers moving away. Got some intercept fire there. Eschweiler. Trasvers moving away. So they're really retreating now. Govi, Malmedy moving in, helping out there. That's unfortunate. Elsenborn moving down. Etlebrick moving away, which is good. Oh, they're fleeing there. Oh, that's nice. Because we were strong, but uh, I'd rather push them away. So, I uh, say so both four. They're piling in, unfortunately. It seems like. As an attack, no worries. That's a bluff. Yeah, he's got problems there. But there we actually got hit a little bit into some fire. Uh, Trois Verge, they're moving away there and they are strengthening and they moved away their tanks, unfortunately. And that's the forest also. And they try to hit there. That's probably not good for them, but who knows? And Jones, where are we at? Yeah, this is towards St. Vith, I think. Is that Rocherath there? No, that's... Oh, is that a feather up north? It is, it is. Oh, see, they're moving closer to where we have retreated over here. And uh, over here as well. So it's like according to plan at least. But we are going to have to hurry up now and shutting these bridges down, I think. There's no two ways about it. This is up a them. We do face stiffer resistance right here and down. Well, this is the same, but nothing here that's close. And they are moving around there. That's fine two units here and then it disappeared <laughs> and an artillery unit we like that moving in and out from here at the brick yeah, what you gonna do here it's also very very interesting front back and forth or they crossed the river there even though the bridge was damaged or or gone one shall tank destroyers moving up <coughs> and tank moving away We've got artillery hit there but no problem there at 
the brick. The piling in there, it seems like. Unfortunately. The Kyush. Like three units or something. Got an attack there, but they lost. And where's that at? That's St. Fifth. They have it. Ooh, they're pulling up a lot there. Hopefully we won't get hurt there. And, uh, this is second Panzer. This is around Clairvaux. They're moving away. Ooh, that's nice. Giving up on that, trying to do something. I think they're too late here, actually. So I think we'll be able to push through here. Take this one. Ooh, that's a different way of doing things. Being attacked from there. Raufeld, they left Raufeld. Is that? That's an Elsenborn. They're moving here. We're not that strong here, but still. Yeah, we got hit there, but they lost. That's a stupid attack, I have to say, but... I mean, oh, they're moving away here. Oh, but they went in back. And... Let's see here, that's Schoenberg, or at least was. That's them, they're moving away from Camp Elsenborn. That's Etleboy, the Kish. That's both four. We still have lots of units here. Them moving away and moving back. This is going to be nice to hit. That's it. I'm happy with that. The little things I saw. So we, let's go through this one and look at their movements. And then I'm going to make this short and just end this one. Uh, so let's have a look. So we have... Uh, at 12.00 right now, 17th of December 1944, we have missed. We are supposed to have missed in the afternoon as well, then light precipitation, then mist, light, mist, overcast. So we have 51 VPs and we get 55 in total because we have four extra VPs due to casualties. Axis losses, it does increase. And we're up now by what? Uh, 2,400. Not great, but that's what it is. The nice thing is that we've killed our GI veterans by 2,700 in order to keep the one to six, which I doubt that we will be able to do, but who knows what would we need to have then? We're at 2,500, that's 15 thousand points let's have a look i doubt that's gonna happen but we're close we're actually close to that so it's between one five and one six nice we get air recon cards not bad to have of course but yeah let's take a look at history straight away okay we are at Elsenborn here. So we have this one, which is a Tau tank destroyer unit. He was sitting right up here before, and he's moving past Nidrum, leaving that one. We left this one intact. Is that where you're gonna stay? No, you're moving away, which is good for us, towards Robbeville. All right. Then we have Trois Verge here. We have an AA battalion moving and we are, let's see here, where are we at here? So we have, these are the, let's see here, where are tank units? Oh yeah, here are tank units and we have moved up some here and some here yeah we were thinking about going with the recon unit in here hitting this guy these two guys so he's moving away from here and going into Alsenborn and leaving that one going somewhere 
Here we have Echweiler and uh, Clevo. We have this tank battalion probably coming through. Oh, there is a track here. There's a railroad track in there. That's interesting. That's where why you could get supply. That's cool. But he ends up here and he gets hit by intercept fire by Nebelwerfers, which is when I think they might have done some. No, they're over there. I was hoping <laughs> that they'd be here anyway. Then we have an AA battalion going from here and they were kind of weak there and he's going into there and leaving there going towards Echweiler, All right? We have Echweiler still here, but now we have the 110th. Where are you at? Let's go back a bit. He go, yeah, he went in there. No, I don't know. Maybe 110th, I think. He should be maybe somewhere around here then. Oh, there he is. So he left this hex here. Maybe down going this road, this way. Then we have unknown unit moving towards Trois And that's another flak unit that we had moving away there. He moves away up here towards Baspel Lane. And we have another unit again. That is also weak. It's price moving up there. Okay. What do we have? We have an unknown unit in here yeah we had lots of that's consume so we did have a lot of units here so they seem to be retreating we have the 424th and now we have the 116th so they were sitting over here and we tried to hit this guy here and uh, i think they got weakened by this unit here but they're moving back probably leaving Baita. and is that the same ones maybe moving in here so they're really piling up here but not here so I mean I like that then we have an unknown unit outside here Robeville that's a flak unit coming out on our side moving towards them moving into them probably outside them moving there Please stop. Nope. Into Omblev, I think. Okay. Here we have the Elsenborn Ridge, or the, yeah, the Elsenborn Ridge up here. And these are, of course, very, very vital to have supply coming through here. These are also dirt roads, which is a problem for them. But we have an A battalion, a flak unit moving away, moving towards Camp Elsenborn keep on moving towards Robeville. Now we are at the Kirsch with the blown bridge and everything. We have an unknown unit here. That is the unit that was sitting up here. I think that's like a motorized infantry or something. No, it's a tank unit. Was it the tank unit that was sitting here then? I guess maybe. I'm not sure. No, probably the unknown here. So it was actually a tank unit. So he's moving down, down in here, moving away because of course he's afraid of being cut, which totally makes sense. And they are also moving after with the recon towards Modernach. Here we have the Kirsch. We have again Team Woodstock moving away here because we are strong and they're moving the same direction towards Modernach. We have an unknown unit over here moving away. We did have, we tried to move this way, but we weren't successful. So they are moving down here and then probably this way, but we'll see. Maybe coming out there. And that's a tank destroyer unit. And then we have Koopa moving probably away from here. So, so they, yeah, they're escaping basically while they can. We have a tank destroyer here. Where are we at? That's before. And these, are, yeah, these are the guys coming up from Berdorf, uh, where we destroyed the other unit now. So this is a vital point. 
And there's, I think, another unit over here as well. No, that was this one, right? So we want to go this one and cut them off if possible. Let's see where he goes. Okay, so that one is taken and he keeps on going towards there. So, and he goes there, he keeps on going to go towards bow four and they get intercepted. So these guys should really be able to go here and cut them off. Which is really, really good. And then keep on going maybe towards these guys, but these guys are coming this way anyway, so. Yeah, but that's good. All right, we have light artillery. That's like a nothing burger. Where are we at now then? We are at 116. Okay, so that's uh, towards St. Fifth. They are escaping from this place here, going somewhere, I don't care. Then we are at Monshao. We have the 62nd Battalion moving now from here, from a difficult position out to an even worse position, I'd say, and get intercepted. We have uh, 740 moving away from Schoenberg, probably from this place here. He... And then we have an attack down here. In Bliaf. Yeah, I mean, he's in a difficult position. He's also behind the river and everything. So behind the river, we are able to take care of this one. He loses a, not a whole lot, but still something. Okay. We still have this artillery unit moving into sets, I think. And maybe another unit also. Let's take a look at that situation. We have that one. Yeah, I think so. And then this guy is moving away. 422 is moving away. And moving back. Okay. And here we are in... Lossheim is down here. And uh, this is Schoenberg. So this one gets hit by artillery. 150. Only one and then some unknown enemy. Could be from here. Or somewhere else. Don't know. Let's see what it says here. A bridge survive, okay? That's good. We have this one that's trapped between here. He's moving. He's moving from here, I think. And he gets intercepted. We have a 422 that's behind enemy lines. Moving. Probably going to take old shite. No, he's moving down this way, trying to help this guy out, I guess. 254 engineer, combat engineer. Let's see where we are at. We are at Honsfeld. Yeah, so this guy was, maybe he was here. There's an un, uh, artillery unit here that was hit. So this is fine for us. Let's see if he continues. He does not. Here we have the fourth combat engineering move. We are where are we at now? We are in Echtenacht, all the way down south. So he moved from here down here. And he's really, really trapped. So there is no supply for him. He goes there, which is the right direction for us. And he goes there because we do have units we want to move. And he goes there, he's just going to get killed. Then we have a situation here in Trezverge here and... We have the 105 coming up, moving in and moving down there, piling in here. Here would be nice for artillery, we'll see. And moving away. Now the tanks are moving. Crossverge and away, piling in here. And here we have Armored Infantry Battalion doing the same thing. Look at that crazy and then Campbell is also moving and also parking in here although the, those are tanks but that's quite far away that helps us a bit but this is dirt road which is a problem we'll see what happens with these guys and US combat engineer moves in here as well I think he moved in from where? 
Ah, it's this guy. Okay. What did he do then? Oh, he got these guys. So, the guys that were hiding in the woods is coming out and uh, moving away. And moving away from this one, which is good. And they're turning up here, I think. Okay. Now we are at Elsenborn and we have these units trying to escape. And succeeding in doing that. This guy uh, loses not a whole lot of units, but he's sort of stuck there. And here we have, um, let's see, this is like around Elsenborn Ridge. No, that's Trois Varges, yeah, in Clairvaux. And uh, we have combat engineers moving from this hex in here and moving across the river. Simbon may be helping out here. Okay. We have Team Jones not feeling so good. And he's moving away from Wirtzfeld, which is good for us. Fantastic for us. We have. 32nd Cavalry. Where is this at? That's Bliaf. Yeah, yeah, Sevelling. So this is towards St. Fifth, right up here. And we had a cavalry moving. I don't know if they came from here or if they moved in here. Here's another cavalry moving away, which is fantastic. This is. Um, uh, Roland, uh, Roland, I think it's called, and uh, they're moving across here. And, uh, I can understand that they are have, having problems with the supply. Oh, they moved over here. That's the wrong side of the river for them, but maybe they can slow down things. Are they really leaving here? Because of the supply situation, maybe. But here we have a little bit of a problem. Uh, artillery moving up and cavalry I like that they're spreading around that's going to be helpful for us we have an unknown unit up here in the north moving probably towards us here right yeah exactly and we have artillery down here unfortunately it hits us in Simurath but uh, limited damage Unknown unit is keep on moving up there into there. That's the tank unit close to the city there. Now he moves away. Does he move that way? Moves back forward. And then we have movement down here 112 cavalry moving in, moving away, maybe. No. Here we have 311. They're really strengthening this place here we have four units here and two and one here so it seems like they're moving away from this one from nelson here they are dividing equally here and extending and moving away there's another one closing in here closing in there Ooh, i don't know if they were leaving there yeah it seems like they are thinning things out here moving things in here so it's really going to be important and these they might actually surround us here so we might actually we are probably going to have to leave these guys this place here as well unknown unit this one as well he's also going to pile in there and leaving or something i don't know going back and forth we had we have a unit there yeah I need goes somewhere and we have continued there moving away okay going back to Lineville Vem and there's an unknown unit here I think yeah infantry unit leaving on Blev leaving that's he doesn't know where he wants to go sure Norwegian infantry battalion that's interesting. That's cool. 
I didn't know they actually existed in this way. But that's cool. And then adding up in here. Okay. And leaving. And going. Artillery coming in. Adding here. Artillery, I think, and moving out. I mean, they're somewhere around here. Let's see. I think they added one here, right? No, he went out. Ooh, and they actually blew... They have blown the... They succeeded in blowing the bridge over here. Which means we could either go around, but I think we're just going to go on our whole one here. And uh, we are in the Kiosh. We have the 103rd engineers moving away. It's good. Going or maybe joining. We have three units in here, it seems. Two units. He's moving across for some reason because he's got that movement. Extra movement as an AI. Outside of Monsha, unknown unit. We have a tank destroyer moving up. We have a tank moving away. Moving away. Moving away. We got hit by artillery but didn't lose anything in Simurath. We These guys are coming back. Coming back. So he's switching around going for infantry rather than having tanks there. Makes sense. Because so we do have um, things in there. That's in fields for now. That's good. Unknown unit around here, adding up unknown unit here. They're th really thinning things out here, which is good because then we'll hit them hard. But we also need to retreat behind these lines. So we'll see. There's a multi unit. Heavy multi unit, really thinning things out here. Lots of artillery around here, which I love to hit. Kirsch again, we have another flak unit here. I think he's leaving and going in and getting intercepted. And here we have an attack against us at yeah, this is the Falschmjäger one that is just underneath Kont's tomb. And uh, we are so strong and he's hitting us and he's losing Wolverine and the M10, I don't know what that is. Tank destroyer. And uh, some of the unit coming up. We have an unknown unit. And where are we at? Berg Royland. So uh, this is a lot clearer for us for now. 416th. Or maybe they are going to stop us more. Berg Royland here. We have an unknown unit moving in. And moving back and forth. Ooh, that's a strong infantry unit. And then they are doubling up here towards St. Fifth with two units. Now one. That's a nice position for them. But he leaves. And that's engineer. So they have a lot and calves. And moving around. This is difficult for us when it comes to supply. So we really need to move in here. These ones, I don't think they moved, actually. So I like using... Uh, I hope that I will get from uh, the Verfus that they will have enough of supply now that I could hit this one being out here. If he's still there. <laughs> we have a Ranger Battalion moving away from Clairvaux, moving down south across these rail roads or rail lines, rail, rail roads. Moving towards this one, and we have an engineer moving in and moving through. And another one, so they're really leaving Clavo, which is really good for us because we want to have supply coming through here. And they're moving out here, which is so stupid. But how far can they get? Not far. That's in the fields, I think. Oh, let's go back here. I missed that one. And let's see. This is an armored battalion, artillery battalion out in costume, trying to do maybe follow these railroad lines here. A 
attacking here with a large loss. They lost like almost everything here against our recon. We didn't lose anything, so that's fantastic. Okay, we have an unknown moving away towards maybe Echweiler, leaving Dorfeld. I think that is available actually. Where we are at Elsenborn, we have 395 moving away. Maybe from here. Going towards Camp Elsenborn, maybe. But then we have Walker moving also, I think, in here. Yes, indeed. So they are leaving this place here. And Wright is coming up here, setting up. They're attacking, why would they do that with such a weak unit? But hey, I'm gonna go for that. Trying to take us important. Maybe they're seeing like difficult seeing things, what's in here actually. So they're just probing, maybe setting up defenses there because you don't want me to sneak in here with something. Makes sense also. Ninth infantry is moving, moving away. This one is also moving and he's going back there. We have 81st engineering outside of Schoenberg. I think he was moving from somewhere around here or maybe we'll see. Then we have a Groyland here towards St. Fifth piling in here unknown units leaving. Oh, that was a bit fast. <coughs> That's Schoenberg someone i think entering or leaving intercepting fire unknown unit setting up a nice line here this is again the falsham jaggers south of costume they're trying to surround this one but we have these guys coming in here so that's going to be good we have a tank destroying moving into them and away from them. So I don't think there's anyone in them now. And we have artillery battalions moving to Camp Elsenborn and away. Here we have Linneville. They are probably going to prop this one up. There's a flak unit. And then we have an unknown unit here in both four and the Kirsch moving away or uh, being added i don't know this one flipped up here that's got intercepted fire he's moving this way and in there in between us he's flipped in there and he's going the same direction and they emptied that one moving in the same direction and here we have unknown unit outside them Moving into them and artillery unit. Yes, come to me here. Thank you. And maybe moving across there towards Robbieville. And there's another unit moving. Oh, he's the same one moving back and forth. Undecided. Huh. You got so much movement points. All right. 155th. Was that the guy who was leaving there? I think so. An unknown unit moves away. Maybe. Here's another one moving in. <coughs> and then we have 20, uh, 280. And this is outside before. So they're actually leaving this one. They were attacking from two hexes here. So that's great because then we can push through here. They're probably taking care of this one. So. We're going to try and push here and stop them here, uh, coming from two directions, and just push these guys up as much as we can, and take vital points, but it's going to be difficult. Yeah, here's another one coming up. Let's see, artillery unit moving through. Okay, and then we have an attack where we add now we're down all the way down to the south and no losses. 
uh, for either side. Yeah, it, there was one actually here. So we're thinking about attacking this one from two directions, but I don't know if that's going to be possible. Oh, there's another one. Okay. Almost done here. Uh, last two steps here. Uh, 27th. Where are you at? In here. Where are we? We are uh, towards St. Faith. So this is Bergroland, is it? No, that's Steinbuick. I think that's Bergroland. So, yeah. So this is the infantry, the armored infantry battalion moving probably up here. Could be moving there as well. But they're leaving this square here. And there they are. And the tank unit is moving somewhere. But where? We don't know. Not here, not here, not we should be able to see here at least. So maybe they're moving this way, this direction. Where are they gonna go? I don't know. I'd say that it's not bad for us at all, but we'll see. And that's it. Let's have a look at where what kind of positions we have and then we'll call it a day. Let's go all the way down south here. So we did actually see a unit in here, and I think there's still one unit in here. And we are going to see, I mean, we could move in here, but that's probably gonna cost us. So we'll see what happens. We uh, also have, uh, yeah, let's see here. Here, we didn't see any movements. So, but we did have units here and here we were thinking, so. We're just going to move up these infantry move, uh, units up here. This is the place we want to go in here if possible, but I'm not going to be able to reach that because this guy is stopping us here, which is a shame. But maybe moving in here and hitting this guy at least. And uh, we are moving probably up from both four. This is going to be easy pickings, I think. Fairly easy. So that's not bad. And then we have lots of units here moving up to Medernacht. No. And then we have uh, the Kirsch problem. We have three units in here. Probably need to uh, probe first. And uh, these guys, I don't know if they're going to be able to really hit like this. Three to one across the river and everything. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. And then we have, uh, <coughs> let's see here, north of Dikirsch, we have this situation, lots of units, but we have also lots of units coming in here. So like these, we'll be able to reach here. So that's going to be a, a position of strength <coughs> being able to hit. So this might not be able to do anything, but we'll be able to hit this guy, for example, with ease. And how strong are they? Like one to one for now. Makes sense. So we'll just pile in here and see what happens here. Try to break through here. Here we have Konstum, and I think they've left pretty much this way here. So that we should really be able to cross in here. And uh, we will also. I think these guys are going to go this way. And we'll have uh, <coughs> Leo going to go this way here. This one we're gonna have to take care of, but they almost died. So it's gonna be very easy to hit this one like that and kill him off. Uh, these guys should probably move up here to attack this guy in Lettingen, maybe just to take care of this guy here. What do they have? Eight Howitzers. So it makes sense. Falua, or maybe they should just keep on pushing here towards Echwalde. So interesting here would be to take walk go down here maybe and these ones i don't know maybe taking this one or heading towards echweile i would really like to be able to get into echweile but i don't think i have the don't have well it would be this one i could perhaps try to do that take echweile and these ones going down here before we actually make a push towards wilts that would make sense 
and this one hit this one and then move up here and try to hit this one eventually and that's nice heavy forest up here in uh, we have Leo taking draw felt this you know no problem this guy is one to one for now but we're going to have three to one here maybe even four to one uh, being able to hit this one and probably with some help of his friends here we'll be able to take Draufeld, uh over here and then maybe even cross the river would be important I think to take this bridge if they blow this one up I don't really care that much as long as I can take these ones and if I can't then this road down here is like decent enough anyway so but that would be nice to be able to go towards Echweiler yeah. and after that uh, secure Echweiler and then go to Wiltz and then go towards Bestone that's the plan for Leah we also have uh, this situation here in Clairvaux now we only have one here uh, although we evacuated quite a lot this is gonna be I wouldn't say a piece of cake but it's gonna be easier for sure I would say that's uh, yeah so uh, yeah so that that's what we're gonna try and do anyway and that's gonna help out with as I mentioned the uh, the supply problem we also have this one we could go here also if we wanted to but we don't want to how so might actually want to help out in that sense in that way move over here and then over here we'll see we have some congestion still left here, which is a problem. And we're going to have second Panzer Division keep on going. Oh, he's running out of fuel, actually. Supply wise. Look at that. That is not good. How do we alleviate that? We do that by what? see what's the problem it's coming through here oh yeah it's because of the congestion here most likely most likely yeah. but we can see however that um, even though there's congestion it has to do like this one. It has to do with also the problem of um, yeah. So that's really one thing. I I'm not allowed to drive over here. Uh, so this one is coming. How far you're going to be able to reach? Maybe. Ah, oh, that's another one. That's another unit. So we might actually be able to go over here, which is not bad. It's going to have to be our recon unit then. Then we have this one not being able to go that far either. And we have a stug here. Maybe go up here to prevent these guys from getting access. Or just not care about that one. Just go push north, I think, would be or west would be ideal these guys are yeah they're not going to be able to survive I think getting some help maybe I need some help with this no he's not going to be able to reach like that maybe then hit this guy do I have anything yeah this guy also go up here 74 that's expensive oh we'll see what happens something like that and uh Verge, it seems like they own they have left this one i would love to hit this one here with artillery we have one tank unit one infantry unit two tank units two infantry units two tank units and three infantry units and four infantry units sort of i mean so it's definitely worth hitting I think and we also want to bring these ones the panzers and they can go up here only okay 
but that might also has to have to do with this one so we'll see but we'll we'll bring these guys up here anyway that's a dead road which is a shame what's that that's 65 still hmm. maybe just i don't know yeah probably gonna do that and the 116th here move up north here towards govi that's where they're gonna go and cut these guys off uh, as much as we can and then try and hit these guys here we have a situation of uh, berg roland and there are quite a lot of units here and these guys really should move over here maybe hit through here help these guys out and um, take berg roland i think it's open and um, before hitting this guy over here, move this one up here and then hit this guy here. It's rather weak from two directions, probably with the anti-tank as well, if possible. And I don't know if anyone went up here. I think they did. And then we have the Saint Fifth here. This is in trouble, obviously. And let's have a look at supply. He's still in supply though, it seems. Which is good for now. But we need to bring... We don't have really any infantry units, so... I think supply-wise... This guy is gone, you know? Same thing, they're gonna run out of fuel as well. Same thing here. So, I don't know, I don't think I'm worried about that. This guy, would I like to move perhaps, but see what happens there, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what this is really about, but it's like what we think it looks like, I guess. And, uh, yeah, we could go over here and hit this guy over here, which would make sense, maybe. I don't know. Up here by Schoenberg, we need to keep on pushing here. And uh, maybe, though, without the Fallschirmjägers, but with the others here, we do have a stack here and one here. So we'll try and push through here towards sets. There are only two units here, but it's in Hüm and then move towards St. Fifth. And up here, they're supposed to be uh, Fallschirmjäger is going up this road, and that's these guys, ninth, I think. <coughs> so, I mean, it would be all right for them to move this way as well, just, you know, uh, it would make total sense, actually. This is the closest way also, so why not break through here? And then we have Knittel, did I forget to move him? Yes, I did. I think I did. Yes, I think I did. Now, we have to take care of these guys. Maybe this guy over here. What do we have here? Yeah, let's move up here and take this. Are we going to do that? Sandig here. That's... We have to go this way with Sandig maybe in here but rather towards here these guy we have to move towards them we don't see anyone here so they have actually removed so them is open possibly open but let's move in here we'll scout ahead with something and try and see if fight our way through here these guys are supposed to try and take Linville, i think if possible and um, Knittel is really behind schedule together with Hansen. So they should really get going and move this way. And I think like historically they went all the way to Poto before moving up like this towards Trapon. They they are aiming towards Trapon there. 
And what do we have here? Let's see here. So they're going to try and push through as much as they can. Here we have a lot of movements towards Camp Elsenborn. So though we need to secure this one before leaving here. And unfortunately, I think we might be a bit too late for these guys. So can we take it? We could. Why does it have only six? Didn't get a hit. It's weird that it has only 65 movement points. Maybe I could put this guy. Oh, it's probably not going to be enough. Maybe take this one, move this one up here. I'm going to hit this guy here. Plus stand over here and then start moving these ones. And try to take Camp Elsborn. If it's possible at all because we want to have a route with so about and these guys finish this one guys up uh, off and then keep on pushing and moving like this this is also going to free up this road here because i don't think there's anyone moving in here this one's also going to be freed up but it can they only have 77 79 yeah i mean they're tired i guess what about this one? He's not, so I don't understand why he only has 65 points. Yeah, I don't know. This one might want to go like that. I, I don't know how this one goes here. So push these ones towards Elsenborn, or maybe up northwest, rather. <clears throat> yeah, that, that makes sense. Up. And then, um, and, and get on the other side of the river. That's what we're going to try and do, and then push against these guys here. This one is dead, and this guy, I don't know, but we could definitely take a look at this guy also. And what else? This guy we might be able to hit with artillery, I think. Let's see? How about this situation up here, then? Uh, we don't really know anything about Monshaw. These guys are tank destroyers, we have artillery. It should, it would be nice to be able to hit this one, but we're not going to be able to. It's too difficult. We have engineers here, quite a lot of engineers. That's very, that's a lot of troops, but also sitting here with tanks. This one, I mean, that's, this is like, just go for it, you know? That's free guns for me. I like that. What else? We have this situation here. We have this situation. We don't want to be cut off here. It wouldn't be terrible. I could move these ones guy, guys over here and blow. And these guys can maybe move down here. Maybe that's the idea, actually. Keep these ones along uh, here. As, do, make as much damage as we can. Probe through here and attack this one from two directions. This guy is gone also, so this one will easily be dead here, I think. So, that's all right. And I don't know if they're going to have to do something about that. What if I took these guys and moved them over here? And just cut these river points? I think that's what I'm going to do. That would make sense. Move this one down here. Cut. Move this one down here and blow. And what else do we have? That's one, two. We have this one also. Move this one and blow. I think it's a lot easier with engineers, but we will have to try and do that. At least prop up some troops here. And then we have this situation. Go down here and blow. And this one here and blow. Just go with these guys. Like one in this direction and two down in this direction or something like that. Maybe... Yeah, we'll see. Because these guys, 
it's just one unit though for now how strong are these gone 60 sitting in a city yeah maybe we can survive one turn one more turn so maybe not escape now Let's see but these ones needs to move back here anyway so that's um, the plan. That's what they've done. I think we're in really, really, really good shape. Uh, simply. And um, this is exciting. The race for the stone. We are in a real hurry. And this is problematic for sure. And uh, But we have most of our units are actually past Trois so we could just maybe skip that and just move like this and then attack and then try to cross here this guy here there's no bridge here unfortunately so <clears throat> maybe it's just about taking this position here and going towards Al Asalbon I think so and then we're on the correct route here and same thing with this one just keep on pushing here with these guys hitting this one and keep on moving here with these guys these guys are going to have to move eventually like hitting this one here is not bad not bad that's nice but they also need to move so we'll see what happens I think it's more important to move than not but uh, we'll see and the yeah and the Lear oh that's interesting. I think they're taking Grafeld and taking this one is going to be important because of these units coming up here. And um, then we'll see about Echweiler. I think it should be quite open. And um, this seemed to be open. Let's see here. Can we travel here? We can. We have lots of units here as well. In Kunstum. So, once we remove this guy here, they will be able to travel quite far, I think. Maybe even, yeah, move up, close up here. And it's not a dirt road either, so that's good. <coughs> and we'll have maybe a couple of units moving in here also. So we'll have one, two, three, you know, that looks fine. And uh, yeah, this is going to take some time, but that's fine. Yeah, <clears throat> that's it. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this uh, part or this episode. And I'm going to take a break now and upload these ones for your pleasure. And uh, next turn is going to be then the uh, it's going to be a turn. Is it five? I think uh, and it's on the 12th. Then. so we're going to have a lot of exciting things to try and do and see where the enemy is at simply so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next episode thank you bye